back man it's been a while same way the game last week and i'm telling you that game was absolutely crazy last player the game winner and so now we're back against probably the best team in mississippi right now only got two games left but we're facing an undefeated team people we get moving we get vibing there's money to be made there's records to be broken people i'll see you guys in a set Game of the season, boy. So, walk down, 
CBL scrap. Nigga know what's going on. Nigga know what's going on. He ain't how to do it. And it's good. Hey, hey, go, let go, let go. Yo, 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 turn me up, yo, turn me up, yes sir. Yo, 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, somebody let me out. Taekwon Henderson, accompanied tonight by his father, Jesse Henderson. Chris Evans, accompanied tonight by Famous Cooper and Daisy Jandian. Sophomore night, everyone's been out here with their parents. Mama, I love you. I'm back home, so I'm gonna say myself at the moment. We've got everyone here, man. We've got everyone right here. We're just vibing, man. We're about to get ready for the game. Ten minutes. Go ahead.
away for the Simpson County Center is Jonas Pruis. He is a member of Phi Theta Kappa SGA in the Bible Club. He received the 2020 Outstanding Student Award for Automation and Control Engineering. Miss go in for the Natchez Campus is Samaria Spears. See a little cut half time, I've seen up to the half. It's just been it's been a frustrating season, if I'm being honest. Playing EMCC, they're one of the best teams in the country. Right now, I think they're like third or fourth in the country. And you can see from the game we were in. You know what I'm saying? We were so close, so far. Second half, the separation just kept getting bigger and bigger. It's just the story of our season. We're so close, literally, we are so 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 close. Maybe it's one Mr. Simon or it's just execution and then next thing you know we either down or we just don't convert from opportunity everybody's working so hard and that's the annoying thing everybody's giving it their all like there's not really a person that you can say in the team isn't giving it their absolute all We've got one carry a couple snaps and i just wish that i could have helped the team more for the game we ended up losing man you know it's not nice talking after a loss Mood's not greatest because again that was our final chance to possibly make the playoffs and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be likely. Now we move towards next week. Next week we've got a team called Jones. And Jones, <laughs> they're the best team in the country. And next week we've got a new week. I'm hoping for more opportunities to show what I can do. Hopefully, you know, there's a team that can win this game. We've been playing a very, very good team. But I can't lie, it was pretty cool seeing Buddy Stevens. I remember when I was younger. I want to say like 16, 17 when Last Chance You came out, watching EMCC and just being like, that's so cool, that's Juco, that's Mississippi. Never would I have thought that by the time I'm 22, I'm playing in Mississippi, I'm telling you. When I mean like, you never know where life's going to take you, it's crazy. But for us, like as a Brit, for someone that sees that stuff on TV, it's, it's pretty funny, it's pretty cool. It's just annoying that we couldn't have got the win. I felt like we were good enough to get the win. I feel like we stayed in the game for a lot of it and you know before they just pulled away, I do feel like that was a great opportunity for us to be able to just show people that we are as good as we believe we are. It's just it's the small things. And again, that's just been the story of our season. People, without further ado, make sure you like, subscribe, all of that jazz. Thank you for tuning in.